Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, I found um, an old version, like version 1. Point, uh, version 1. Point. Yeah, what's really cool about this is about VirtualBox. It makes this interesting graphic. Anyways, I have three interesting versions of um, VirtualBox. So, um, you might have not known, but um, Sun actually acquired Inotech, or at least that's how I think you pronounce it, which were actually who originally made VirtualBox. And um, this is the early, earliest version I could find, which, focus, 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 which is um, version 1.3.6. Version 1. <coughs> So, here, I actually think that um, the Innotech one is probably the best out of all of them, including the modern one, even though it kind of has sparse, sparse operating system support. Anyway, so, as part of the video, just to make things interesting, let's test each version out to install version Windows NT4. Name, eh, whatever, I don't care. It's going to get deleted anyways. <laughs> this is why I think it's more powerful. It allows you to go with no disk. Of course, you can go with an existing disk or one. And, like, that graphic with that hard disk is really cool, in my opinion. I really like that. Anyways, dynamically expanding, whatever. I don't really care. Finish. So, under settings, so, yeah, you actually, um... So I choke on um, N M um, MJD's channel, Michael's channel, um, in one of the comments that says that wow, VirtualBox is virtually the same <laughs> after all these years um, on um, a, a version of Sun VirtualBox, which I, which I, that was kind of funny, but here it's kind of different. I mean, it is pretty different. I mean, like. You can actually add DVD images. I just screwed around with this just a tiny bit. Desktop, so select. Yeah, um, also the reason why I'm using Windows, um, uh, Windows 2000, this is just a modded version of it just to make it look like Windows NT 5.0. Uh, <clears throat> oh, wow, this setting panel's actually. Anyways, the reason why I'm using it is because instead of like using like, um, Windows. I couldn't get it to work on Windows XP or Windows Vista X64, and I did not want to go through the 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 process of hmm, process 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 of downloading them um, Windows XP, you know, professional, and just go through that entire rigmarole of installing. So that didn't work, well, because I did not have enough memory. Oh, in fact, I'm actually going to shut this thing down really quick. This is kind of like a just a quick first look. That sounds horrible. I might provide a download link. I haven't, I haven't figured out how I'm going to do that yet. I'm probably going to do it in Google Drive. Just because that's the only thing I can use. So let's just wait for this thing to now and a virtual machine setting. Uh don't go you should never go above four gigabytes on a thirty two bit guest because it won't read higher than four gigabytes yeah that's the modded v modded on windows 2000 that i was talking about earlier so it seems like you can only go that much <laughs>
that is not the um that is um the virtualization's fault also has a start hey look at that anyways yeah it's really um it's not the file that's on this thing anyways let's just install this for a second i thought it crashed So you can see that um, the little graphics down there are actually a little bit different, I noticed. Like, especially the hard drive. Taking a while to load. Oh my god, I hate... If anybody... <laughs> I'm pretty sure everybody hates that message that every single virtualization program gives on the planet. You know, anyways... And I continue. See, it's kind of awkward with the camera. Function F8. Yeah, I don't want to go into too much of the Inception because this is not the computer to do it with. This is just an 8, I mean a 12 gigabyte. Um, a laptop that has 12 gigabytes. So it's not that high of a performance. I mean, that's higher than most laptops. I am aware of that, and I do like that in TFS. But it's just not, you know, it's not really the type of hardware you want to use to do too much virtualization on. It's gonna, even if I press escape, it's still gonna check it anyways. So as you can see down here, it's actually slightly different. Like the little um, circles that, you know, the read and write indicators. That's also slightly different. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my goodness. That is really annoying. Uh, excuse me. Oh, boy. Task manager. Kill. Power off machine settings. I don't think you can actually um um you know disconnect. I mean unmount it without going through the settings on this version. I could be wrong. I said do not show this message again. Oh, you can. Well, I feel stupid. Wait, does this thing have um VMware guest editions? Oh yeah, it does. It's actually very different. It's kind of cool to see how um, VirtualBox evolved over the years. It was filed by Oracle. Ah, uh, there we go. Hopefully this doesn't crash the first time, then I have to reboot it again. And this is really annoying. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Oh, control. No wonder why it's not working. CD ROM select. Yeah, that is also really different. I like that a lot. Insert, then press OK. Now, hopefully, it doesn't crash because normally it crashes, then I have to restart, then it installs. NT, I'm going to go with custom because I want everything, even though this thing's going to be deleted. You know what? Never mind. It's just going to be compact. Yeah, whatever. I don't care. I don't. <laughs> there. You get to have whatever name, you get to have gibberish, I do not. No. Eh. Oh, still makes you have it even on custom. Interesting. Can I take out that? I want to take out accessories. I just. I want this thing just to install, and that's basically it. Even though I absolutely love installing everything. To run Windows. I think I'll be able to take out the disk now. Oh my goodness, I keep pressing Control Alt by X instead of Control. Post Drive D. Unmount. Yeah, whatever. Kind of nice that it does that, even though. How many files do you have to copy? 
Yeah, like, let's just have a quick look. Here, so this is a different, I've never seen this um, menu in um, version 6 and 5 in VirtualBox, right? Yeah, it's really interesting, in my opinion, to see how this goes, see how this one, it actually was kind of like the hard disk. Yeah. Hmm. Select, how many files do you have to copy when it's NT? Hopefully that's going to be it. I know, this is just your standard quick Windows NT installation, but it's also kind of cool to see um, um, the, um, what is it, the BIOS boots, you know, like the BIOS, like, you know, saying, hey, this is how, this is what you're running, so, mm -hmm. and uh, we don't need, I also think it'll be kind of interesting to also um, install guest editions just because it'll probably be different. To do. Also, what's really cool in here, I'm not sure if it's just because it's task manager, what is it? Um, if you see the icons, they're kind of like grayish and low colorish. I'm not using autofocus, by the way, so that's why it's blurry. Yeah. Oh, this is. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I actually kind of like how these graphics look, but how are you supposed to... <laughs> how are you supposed to do control delete? Is it, maybe it's under devices or input. Yeah, I reset all warnings. Ah, insert control deletes under VM. I'm blind. Administrator, because I got close. Now it's time for what everybody has been waiting for. Windows and T guest guest editions on uh, Inotech Virtual Box. Oh, yeah, it has that weird graphic. On. Install. So it's so it looks like it's no, it's from. So it looks slightly different. Yeah, there's that low color icon. I'm not sure it's just because of its Windows Task Manager. And now we have a look. Reboot now. I'm just going to reboot forcefully then. Restart computer? Tch. Hilarious. I had that question. That never made that much sense to me with a question mark. Like, do you want to restart your computer? Shut down your computer? Do, am I going to have to do this myself? Yeah, I guess I am. Reset. Innovative business solutions. Innotech. Hopefully this doesn't crash. I know Windows NT4 was much more stable than the nightmare that was Windows <coughs> 95, but I haven't had the best of luck with them. Yeah, it doesn't look good. Um, I haven't had the best of luck with them. Windows NT4. So control delete. Um, when I installed it on um, a VM. Close. I said close. Go away. Go away. Go away. Oh my god. Okay, what? Ah! Leave me alone! Why? What have I done to you, Windows NT? This is what I mean by did not have the best of luck. Okay. And I do not want to. Uh, okay. Driver successfully installed. Oh! No, no. Cannot be used or not properly. Leave me alone. So I don't think guest edition is actually properly installed on here. I'm I'm gonna check. My hand prompt. In just a second. So this just became its whole other thing. Uh, let's see. Only device display. Ah, 
add remove programs. Nope, it's there. Maybe I have to install other stuff. I'm gonna. Like I said, this is weird. And again, I keep getting confused with VMware and VirtualBox. VirtualBox is um. Let's see, mouse integration. Um, capture. Uh, Reinstall guest editions because I don't think I did it properly. Yes, I accept. So maybe I probably should have just skipped I exploit I. See, I skip. You skipped all the drivers. I want to manually reboot later. Okay, so now that we know that this is a garbage. Skipped everything. It's probably because I do not have Service Pack 6A install, but at least we get to see it kind of install. <sighs> I might try a separate video of trying to get virtual boxes, um, drivers to be installed. Yeah, this is the oldest version I could tra trace down on the, um, what is it called? The, uh, Internet Archive. Yeah, this thing is, yeah, this thing's crap. <sighs> yep. So now that we know that this old, and it's, it's just probably because it's just some kind of software incompatibility, which is not warning me for whatever reason. Alrighty, so let's just uninstall this and go on to the next one. Control, not control alt. So you see here, um, I have little graphics for the window, for the window icon. Delete. Yes, and um, the, these graphics here are quite a bit different. Mm-hmm, 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 programs, tech virtual box, jeez, that scared me. So yeah, that was 1.3, that, now this is, um, another major version, I mean, not extremely major, it's like 1.4, so it means it was not, so I mean, it's newer. Hopefully this one can actually install Windows NT4 and all of its drivers and VirtualBox guest edition stuff that it needs to. Alright, I think it just finished. Oh, what the heck? Hmm, that's weird. The ten. Okay. Go under documents. No, it's not. It's under programs. You know, tag virtual box and launch. Now, if, now if you go to about virtual box, yeah, they have another weird graphic. Interesting. There's windows up there having them flying around with <laughs> BSD and Tux and um that um open Sue's having a party with virtual box. <laughs> this is weird. This is really, really strange. As you can see here it's um much more similar, however, it still has that graphics, and now um, I believe that was actually this similar. So, as we just want to, you know, we don't care. Now, if we go to Windows NT4, well, I mean, it does not have that weird Windows butterfly yet. That comes around when Sun Microsystems bought the software out. I'll show you that I don't need that much RAM. In fact, I don't want that much random. That's what I was saying when you could actually put in a disk and it wouldn't complain. That's why well, I think that this one is actually. I 
I really screw this up beyond repair. Primary master. Da, 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 da. Let's just see if it can do it. So it's we go under. Whoops. I was already in here. Why am I? Start. Even though it's probably going to complain that there's no installable disks. So I'm not sure if I fix that or not. Yep, I haven't. Shoot. So yeah, it's kind of easy to screw up, but I, it makes it more powerful. Alright, I'm actually going to start it one more time. Oh. Alright. Okay, so that means you can also see all the save and discard right there. I'm not sure if you're getting this on the camera, but it's more of an orangey color. Anyways, now if I just discard. Yes. And I can also see these things right here. And I want to delete that because I accidentally forgot to put in a disc because it's me. Anyways, we go under here. I don't really care what the name is. I not that. New hard disk. Welcome to new hard disk wizard. Congratulations to you for discovering this tool. Okay, now we go under next finish, and now let's uh, go under settings. Yeah, and the next one after this, which is which is when um, Sun bought out Inotech, we're gonna see um. Uh, much. Um, slightly more refined, and um, I think the feature actually has been removed to choose a boot device in that version. At least I don't see it in um, version 6 today, so. Wow, this video has been going on for 22 minutes. Sorry, don't have any editing software. Nor do I know, or even if I did, I don't know how to use it, so. Hmm. <sighs> See, I. Oh my, of course, I wanted to make you read everything. Can't see. There we go. Got it. And, oh, so this one actually has, um, so this one actually had, uh, so this new version, if you, I'm not sure if you're able to notice it, no, wait, never mind. And, uh, I don't care, just, just, just get it over with. And, uh, escape, but it's gonna check it anyways, because it's workstation. Now remove. Also remove any of these compact disk drives. But watch this, Windows NT4. You're gonna complain that you did not, that you can't access it right when I boot up back into the setup because. Oh come on, control, control. Let's make this. Let's make this fast. Let's make this fast. CD-ROM. Come on, come on. Bop, 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 bop. I want to see if I can do it without a complaining. Select yes. Okay, good. There it had the boot dots. <clears throat> so this one is um very similar, but the graphics look like they have been changed a little bit with the mouse. I'm not sure if it's just me. So let's just check to see if it actually um there we go, did it right for once. Nope, they haven't patched the thing yet. <laughs> and it still complains. Oh my god. It's mounted! Browse. And I have the. F <laughs> oh, my God. Browse. Well, that doesn't work. Well, I don't know what's going on there. It's just acting funny. However, we don't have all day, so let's go to the next. Oh my god. 
next major version into my wonderful, wonderful Windows Vista virtual machine. Yes, Windows Vista is better than 7. Windows, Windows Vista is infinitely more better than Windows 7. Whoops. Now let's go all the way over. Do, 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 do. Windows Vista 2nd Edition. I mean, Windows Vista X80. I've never understood why they decided to do it this way. It's really weird. V you know, VMware. X64 Edition. Never understood why they decided to choose that. You can't see my reflection. It's covered by the camcorder screen. Yes, and I put the no GUI boot because it looks infinitely better. Ignore the three drives down there. Failed attempt of setting up RAID. One. Is it going to boot or not? And as well, it's booting. Uh, I never actually had a problem with Windows Vista ever crashing on me. The only time I actually had a problem with it is due to a hardware problem. And that hardware problem was due to HP's horrible, horrible UFI configuration utility after a failed attempt of booting on this. Ah, uh, yes, there's the world's best operating system on here. At least really good. It's in the top. Oh my god. It's in the top. With stuff like... Oh, so now with this one, I actually have it installed. Yes, this one actually works with a 64-bit. I'm not sh again, I'm not sure if Inotech VirtualBox actually works on um, Windows XP or not, or even on Windows Vista um, on 32-bits, 32-bit operating systems. But I did not, I was basically, I did not want it. Windows 2000 was the only virtual machine that was a 32-bit that could prop that could possibly run this program from this time period. Or I'm the reason why I'm I'm not going to install it. I just want to show you that it's actually slightly different. The, ins the installer. Preparing to install. See, it looks like they hid the Inotech, like from the picture, Inotech. So yeah, yes. Also, I just realized it did not have it. So yes, now they want this to register for some reason because it's freeware, I guess. Let's go to help that work. Now this time has been bought up by. This one actually had some branding. Go under task well, No, I don't want to lock the task bar. No, 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 no. See your applications. Yeah, as you can see here, it actually has the logo. The fixed. I'm not sure if that was just Windows 2000 or what. <laughs> What's going on over here? Oh, go away, Edge. Not interested right now. Now this is when it starts to look a lot like virtual box of today. So why is the Windows Dream Team playing by... Eh, probably because this is all frozen.
30 minutes, jeez. Yeah, there's Dream Scene playing. <coughs> so, why did I just close that? <sighs> Corrupted text, I can see. Nope, I guess I can't make this thing shut up about record sharing. Anyways, let's go over here. Now this is where I had that weird butterfly thing I was talking about earlier. Oh, that's this nice sh short option to short it. Sh Anyways, over here I just type in some random universe, which I don't care about. And I just realized that's not in focus. There's that butterfly I'm talking about. And as you can see here, the graphics has changed. Hmm, did not want me to make a boot device on this one, which is kind of odd. Settings, do do do, advanced, no, no. CD ROM, no, this is where it changed. Um, There has that thing again, desktop, similar to Windows 2000, that ISO file select. Okay, let's get this over with. And of course, and as you can see, the little graphics down there has been refined once again. And there's the, you missed that, you're going to see it again. There's the, there was the BIOS screen. So now here, still having this menu. Does that? <laughs> Every new version is a different edition. Hilarious. Oh my god! I thought I said do not show this capture. I just needed to scoot in my chair. Escape, even though it's going to check it anyways, because it wants to. And you can't tell it what to do for some reason, even though it's a computer. Oh my god, I did that again. I am so bad at this. Oh, that's why. Alright, now we want to... Troll, now we want to unmount this thing again. Or should I not unmount? I don't think I should. drive even though it's actually uh, the host is still a virtual machine which is kind of there's that boot OS loaded version 4 
So there's pack one for support with the jazz architecture. And it crashed. That's exactly what I was afraid of. Don't think that this video is actually in both parts, so I'm gonna have to see about that. Now let's hope it doesn't crash. And it didn't crash. Hooray! Yeah, that's what I was talking about earlier. Control. There we go. Nice, subtle advertising. Microsoft. Well, there. Intella line, the key one. Packed. Ah. Till you enter a name, because we need you to enter a name. And it's probably not going to like the comments, so I'm just going to delete that. I don't give a password, I'm not interested. 